people bent on destruction, or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy. The saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. This isn't a setup. Did he catch that, boss? Mike is dead. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. I forgot to check the battery because I was busy coordinating an international assassination. Can we go back to the part about this being a setup? It's not a setup. The intel is good. You trust this lady? Ash is one of the good guys. Only knows her from the KGB days. Oh, she's tied with the KGB. I feel a lot better. Look, Bert and I worked with her too. She's fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure she's ready to put someone in a fucking body bag. That doesn't mean we should. Showtime. We're three minutes behind schedule. We need to move. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry, is this a counter-terrorist operation or a Saints flow shoot? I'm Sean. Ashiro Dakar, follow me. We're here. I didn't expect them to be all business. We know what's at stake. Do you? Look, lady, this motherfucker knows how to get shit done. Don't you worry about me. What's security? My tech guy bought us a 10-minute window. If we move fast, we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot. How many of those are there? Don't know about the numbers inside, but there are about eight marching the perimeter. On my signal, we... Oh, hell. We gotta move! So much for subtlety. Don't worry about it, honey. Subtlety is not really our thing. Come on, this way. Base, are you there? What are we walking into? The intelligence I'm looking at suggests... Hold on. Hide, truck on its way. Wait a minute. Your hammer is... Is that Matt Miller? Kinsey, be nice. But seriously, look at Matt Miller is a brilliant hacker, a venerated agent of MI6, and a key member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying... Hold that thought, Matt. Guards ahead. Hold position. Let's take him out quietly. Bye, bye, bye. Matt, you were saying? The nuke is stashed deep in the compound. It's likely primed and ready to go. Getting booted from the U.S. sent Cyrus Temple off the deep end, but teaming up with terrorists? Seriously? Attention! Attention, please! Quiet. Listen. Saints, where you can make it! Got Ticket personal. Why would you? I should have killed you with Steelboard! Ticket personal. You own Steelboard! Ruin America! Moon logging. Our leaders stole America by letting you live! Time to destroy Washington and start over! Nothing can stop me now! Especially you! Uh huh. Now then. Don't sweat. 
got this. Come here, bitch. This way, people. Every mission has its bumps. Bump? You call that a bump? You're alive, are you? It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you too. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple Here's of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I'll pay you in trouble. King, can you have this thing say you're assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. You know my fun is a gang leader? We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. There's a septic truck when you need one. Shit. Keith better have some good news. This press conference shit gets old real fast. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Let's roll up on cancer and leave it bleeding in the street. Good choice. I hope Kinsey's got the reporter's handle. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. Filibuster this, smartass. Huh. 
Busted a knuckle on that senator's tooth. Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Boom! All right. I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm your number one fan! Nice work, Oleg. <sighs> the president's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for? And I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. Oh, now you two. How many times do I have Asha to- Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right, I'll swing by after I- do. for fear, but a time for celebration. Today, the best and brightest among you will find salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kids, go! <laughs> Protect the president! I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? <laughs> And back the fuck off! Gonna need some serious firepower. And I said we should have a gun every five steps. Is that too much to ask? There you are. Thank God you're alright. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All out war by the looks of it. I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Watch your ass. Bert to Ernie. Bert to Ernie. Activate South Portico defenses. Let's do this, you badass motherfucker. Enjoy leaping so much. Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch. Didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. Sticking your head on a spike, you alien fuck. Now, now. Not so fast. Anything more charming? Ugh, fucking ass! Oh. Do what exactly? Huh? Bravado me to death? 
<laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you. Hey, whoa! What? Goodness me! What a dream! Gosh, what a glorious day. Leave it to the Saints. Brought to you by Friendly Fryer, the only choice in home cookware. Morning, dear. I made your favorite breakfast. Oh, Mr. King from across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy new get-rich scheme. Oh, that Pierce. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? You got it, sweetheart. I did only I, neighbor. I wonder what's happening in the world today. You ready to meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Uh, don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead. Boy, they sure are anxious to meet you. They who? <laughs> well, you do have a queer sense of humor. Why does this place look so white bread? Now, what's that you say? Something's just off. This is all, uh... Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. The fish? What, wait, what are, we, what are we talking about? Don't you worry now. We're almost there. <laughs> Feels like something's wrong with this car. Careful now. Well, here we are. Why don't you glad hand a bit? We got time. Ow! My toe! Can I get a picture? Aww. Thank you kindly. Looks like it's time. Your public is waiting. Oh my stars, it's the president! Hi, how are... What the f We don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. people. What the f*** is this? I'm getting the f*** out of here. Hello? Hello? Kinsey, am I hearing things now? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. But uh, I am free. The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. But uh, I'm just driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. Brace yourself. Brace for what? What the hell? I need some more time before I can get you out. It'd be really helpful if you could just, you know, just be you. <laughs> be me? The simulation is all about normalcy, pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash out. Fuck up your whole day. Keep it up! The simulation is resisting, but just keep going! You need to do more. Bigger! Hold on, I'm sending you something. Find the cat fountain. I left you a present. Golly.
Golly, this is keen. You're doing great. The simulation is... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait what? Kenzie, what's, what's going on? Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moment. I'm impressed. Where the hell are... Fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. You trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means nothing. Fighting back is pointless, my friend. There's nowhere to run. You belong to me. Now, on to more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you ever? My friends, each of you are guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken, not dead. Go now and tear their world asunder. What the fuck am I now? Come in, President. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. You want to tell me how I hear you since I don't got a phone? I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. <laughs> right, because that's not at all messed up. Kenzie, I ain't strapped. How about getting me out? I can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there, so you might want to go buy a gun. Ah, oh, hell. Friendly fire time. You think the whole damn White House got flattened? I don't know. Maybe. Why? And now, just thinking, maybe we could get Ultor to rebuild it. Thicker walls, more guns, an underground jet hangar. Are you serious? Hell, maybe more stripper poles in the bedrooms. More? You already had some stripper poles? Shit, I had one put in my first day in office. <laughs> wow. Uh, hope you got something useful, because the cops are swarming your location. I got my Second Amendment rights. Zinyak's running this place. I don't think the Constitution holds any weight here. Uh, Kinsey, somebody clean this place out. What? Damn it! Zinyak removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... We don't have a single safe house in town. Right. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any help you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Right. Any more big ideas? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. Well, don't drag your feet, girl. These data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Okay, so Kinsey, what are these things you're sending me after, and what am I supposed to do with them? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. 
There's several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Uh, sure. Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. Locked on, Kinsey. Wait, how safe is this thing? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. <laughs> Ooh, this feels badass! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. Huh. And what you got in mind? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. How do you expect me to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. You saying I can climb walls now? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. It's the same thing. Oh shit, son! This time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. <laughs> I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. You gotta be joking. Just try it. Cool. It looks like these hotspots are protected by shield generators. Getting near them will be tricky, but you'll have to shut down each one before you can take out the main hub, which of course is protected by even more Zin. So, good luck with that. Don't tell nobody I did this. Damn, I am pumped. Hey, it worked. Yes, bravo. Perhaps my wardens underestimated you. I won't let them make the same mistake twice. Uh, that can't be good. Man, fuck him, Kenzie. Set me in one of them training rooms. I think I can do that. So what I get? Teleportation? Laser vision? Bone claws? Whoa. Looks like the ability to freeze people and objects with an ice blast. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let me load up a few targets from the simulation for you. Wait, 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 back it up. You put me in with people who's gonna try and kill me? Don't worry, these are safe programs. You can't die from them. Man, I was just warming up. Constructed a door that'll allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. You got it. Hey, what can you tell me about the Zen invasion? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and the brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. We need to stop the Zin from getting the rest. Once you're free from the simulation, I can sever your connection to the Zin Matrix. This will allow me to retrieve your body here in the real world without you suffering permanent brain damage. So, so where am I in the real world? They ain't doing nothing to my body, are they? It's... in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. Wrong door. Oh. Good job. Well, that didn't go terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we doing this in my time. No, you're not.
That's mine! Us out of here. Gee, Kenzie, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kenzie. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. It's just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. We're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking a fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. I always thought Nightblade was just vampire show. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm, probably tell Marco. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail? You want me to leave a message? Oh, it's all gone. Well, I'd say this was a productive day. You're a fucking monster. Oh, don't act surprised. I told you this would happen. You killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinya plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zen security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends... And find Zinyak. Yeah. Right. Let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation, and the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history, Johnny Gat. But ever as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. Pick up Matt. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. I don't think now's the time to be picky. How do we save him? Well, I guess there's the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. Run right on, let's do it. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker god, ran all the cyber terrorism for the Syndicate back at Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Kinsey, where's my gun? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Are you kidding? 
What the fuck is on the screen? It's the command prompt. Just give me a second. Fuck me, not again. Damn it, the camera's screwed up. We'll just have to deal with it. Easy for you to say. You're not dealing with the top-down bullshit. You're coming up on Matt's prison. So what am I getting into? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. We'll just have to wing it. Yeah, who needs a plan when you can just walk into a virtual hellhole? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Awesome. What's happening? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. This can't be good. This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. So, will you choose a path to extinction? Or will you sacrifice yourself as a savior? Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to do or die. Make your choice. This can't be good. This is your life as it led you to... I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He could take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak ship. a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kenzie, this is not a time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. I was talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton. Whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. It's supposed to make that noise? Are you breaking my power armor? Uh, maybe? If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. <laughs> Can't wait to use the guns on this bad boy. Oh, um, I do have time to get them working, so... Are you fucking kidding me? I found your power armor. Because it is missing stuff. Kinsey. How the hell am I supposed to get this thing through the door? Ugh. Oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and, oh look, Kinsey, you wee wolves like a goddess with a brush. Okay, okay, all right, I'll figure something out. All those things are full of people, aren't they? Maybe, but I don't think they've been humans exclusively. I have the yes. boss! Get to me!
me and I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's a real fancy gun, Matt. It's more than just a gun. Good job, Matt. Get in the turret, Matt. I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shondi, and... Oh, my God. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shondi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Surprise, Zinniak went back to the well and hid this inside a broken shillelagh again. According to Matt's data, all of the submatrices are inside broken shillelaghs. That makes no sense. Zinniak's big on reuse. <laughs> Come it, Johnny. He was on this plane where Shondi and I lost our best friend. Johnny got help found the Saints originally, and Shondi looked up to him ever since she joined. He sacrificed himself to save us. Now I want our friend back. Hey, I, I don't feel my powers anymore. Your powers only work in your simulation. You're on your own. Still won't keep me from finding Johnny. <laughs> Kinsey, the door's jammed. I don't understand. Oh, is something the matter? Son of a bitch! Poor Johnny is on the other side of that door. You can't even muster the courage to open it. He's going to die. Alone. And none of his friends will even get to see the body to bury him. Johnny. I let you down. I let us all down. We never should have ran. We should have stayed and fought. But we couldn't because... We couldn't because of me. And I know people say it's not my fault, but if the boss didn't have to protect me, you would be standing here right now. I'm so sorry, John. It wasn't your fault. We left him to die. He didn't save our lives so we could feel sorry for ourselves. Yes, I hate to interrupt this touching moment, but we haven't even got to the best part of this plane ride. Oh, fuck me. I'm coming, Shawnee. Uh, uh, fuck. Kinsey, is Shawnee okay? I, I don't know. It's like she's everywhere. I have to find her. Oh, this should be entertaining. Oh, what the fuck is this? I don't... Boss? Boss, are you there? Kizzy! Sh <laughs> Plane was... Jesus. This is getting old fast. What the hell is going on here? Hey, get off me! Boss, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hold on, why are you in a nightclub? What happened to the plane? It turned out it's Shondi's nightmare. She's right here somewhere. Uh, uh, cut it out! Who's that? Hang on a minute. You're not going anywhere. Step away from her, veteran child. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Will somebody tell me what's going on here? <laughs> Good to see you again, Shondi. That is not Shondi. Now I'm telling you, it's her. 
No, something's screwed up. Shani doesn't act like this. She has, like, one emotion. Pissed. This girl needs a bowl fast. I'll explain later. Let's go, Shandi. Not yet, my friends. I think veteran child deserves a second chance with our fair Jezebel. Maybe several chances. <laughs> Little help here? Stay dead, you sandal wearing fuck. You're remarkably calm right now. Hey, sometimes your exes try to kill you. What can you do, you know? You want a party? No, this isn't me. Shandi, are uh, you okay? This is getting weird. <laughs> Get out. What's her problem? My problem? My problem is that I used to be you. This isn't a born again thing, is it? Nah, she's future you. Makes sense. So what happens to me? What do you mean? Look, Chandi, let's get out no, no, of- No, 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 no. I want to hear what I have to say to myself. What did you mean, what happens to me? Well, evidently, I become a total frigid bitch. So I just wanted to know what's up. Oh, you mean I stopped sitting around smoking drugs from a broken light bulb all day? Guys, maybe we should- Yeah, you're lame now. You used to have fun. I used to be useless. What? The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry. And fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. I hate me. Let's get out of here. Kenzie, any leads on Pierce? I'm working on that, and I think I have the right cipher created. And? Oh, nothing. Sue's just asking for new programs for delivering this to you. I give the dude what he wants. You haven't heard what the programs are. Ew. I've been researching your friend, Pierce. Are you sure you wish to retrieve him? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. Historically, you spend nearly half your time ridiculing him. Yeah, but it's all in good fun. Making a man who risks his life for you and what you stand for the butt of your comedy routine is all in good fun? Yes. You're a terrible person. Can you give me the goddamn cycle? I'm saving his life, you know. You don't have to convince me. Just yourself. Drink up. We're talking about this later. To the Saints, Pierce Washington was always comfortable in the public side. Some may think he's gone soft because of this, but he's always been loyal to the crew no matter what had to get done. Damn it! Get away from me! Hey, Pierce, I'm here! Saints Flo, you fucking serious? Boss, am I glad to see you? Hold on. This is your greatest fear? Marketing gone bad? Bad? Our own IP is attacking us and you're making jokes? These things are trying to kill me! Or replenish your electrolytes, you ever think of that? Okay, let me stop and ask them if they're just trying to serve me a cold, refreshing drink. So much for a challenge. Oh, what was that? Oh shit, come on, we need more guns! Hey man, you just took my line. And there's a reason for it! Now move! Pick up ball! Oh, seriously? That's his name? And that doesn't matter! Shoot the rockets at him already! Fucking eye beams! The hell is wrong with you, Pierce? Pierce, you good? Yeah, there's a helicopter up here I'm gonna climb to. You think you'll be okay on your own? Well, get in that thing and come pick me up then. Gotta remember to never, ever get Pierce out Man, I was just warming up. I am never touching Saints Flow again. I think I know how you can get caught. How does everyone know that thing's name? I've been trying to figure out how to make you large enough to fight that thing. Say what? Just get to the island with the big statue on it, okay? And get Paul's attention so he follows you. Pierce, where's that fucking helicopter? Get in. Paul's not gonna stay down. Kinsey has a plan to put him down. Kinsey does? Mind filling me in? Just get us to the statue. What for? Yeah, she didn't exactly say. All I know is we gotta get Paul to follow. To follow? She better have something big planned then. Hey, if Saints Flow scares you, why'd you front it for all these years? Well, the money helps. 
And who said I was afraid of it? This is like when something you love is trying to kill you, and you just can't stop it. Oh, like my pet tiger. <laughs> exactly. Okay, get inside the statue of Joe Magarak. Now the statue has a name? Seriously, you didn't know that. N nobody tells me shit. You like it. Come on, Pierce. Let's see how Joe Margarita throws a punch. Hey, Paul, have you met Joe? Don't forget about the block button. There's a block button? I labeled it for you. I don't really sweat the details. Careful, he's gonna laser eye you again. Laser eye? Fuck, you know what I mean. What the fuck is it about to... Look out! So, do I get to drive that thing next? No. That's right, Joe. Kick his aluminum ass. Don't worry, Paul. I'll pour one out for you. Oh, that's right. Pop that top. Time to make some art. Yeah, that's a good look. That's just kind of fucked up. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. Can't wait to get back to Earth. Right, forgot to tell you. Earth got blown up. What? I have a lock on Benjamin King's simulation. Good. I need my chief of staff. I'll send the cipher to Sid. Meet him at the usual spot. What's going on? The president is about to enter Ben King's mind. So? Are you kidding me? The boss is going back to a time when they weren't in charge. When was the last time you saw that? I feel like this is an invasion of privacy. When did that ever stop your administration? We never invaded- Yes, we did. Jesus, what did we do? I'm committing treason if I tell you. I think treason only matters if you have a planet on which to be tried. That was bad timing. You get to be quiet now. Okay. From leader of the Vice Kings to best-selling self-help book author to the president's chief of staff, a few people who've done as much as Benjamin King. <laughs> and to think, I almost tried to kill him back in Stillwater before his own lieutenant staged a little coup. Guess it worked out for him. Kinsey, am I? Back home in Stillwater? Yep. Wow. Almost forgot how this town always smelled like a garbage strike. I expected the buildings to look a lot worse than this. They do look like updated graphics and shit, but this is still the same old shithole. Watches! I got watches in! Yo, hey man, this shit'll cost you $600 in the store! Oh, whatever, man. Watches! Yo, I got watches! Hey, baby, I could show you a good time. That car! Hey, it's Ben! Feels familiar. Hey, doesn't someone try to kill me soon? Oh, hell no! Man, fuck the rollers! The VAR, you gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? Ah, shit. Nice going. Ah, now I'm having fun. You know, I still dream about that church sometimes. Recognize that place? How could I not? That's where I got my start. I was just a kid back then. Too scared to even talk. That must have been nice. Hey, say what? I didn't say anything. Wait, Tanya? Oh, fuck, not you again! Why would King want her here? Bitch tried to kill us. Man, I remember all these people. Wish some of them were here. That's far enough. Come on, King. It's me. The president? You're my chief of staff? Shit. Yeah, I remember now. What are you doing in here? My crew turned on me. Tanya and Big Tony pulled a coup and now they want my ass dead. I was hoping Julius and the Saints would help me out. Julius? He's not here, is he? No. I'm never able to find him. Now trust me, that's a good thing. Now let's get you out of here. Are you sure about this? There's Spice Kings all over that area. Is this when Tony and Tanya usually kill you? Tanya's usually tried already. Yeah, I, I saw her earlier. Must have scared her away. If we can hold out here, then Tony shouldn't be far behind the rest of the VKs. 
feels just like old times, doesn't it, player? There'll be better times to come, man. You deal with Tony and Tommy. I've been searching the simulation, and so far, no sign of either of them. But they are coming, right? Since King has been reliving this over and over again, it stands to reason that the parameters of the encounter should remain the same. I think that means yes. Glad you understand. Ben, you okay? Fine. Thanks. Fuck splitting up. Feel me gonna do this thing side by side. Yo, look who it is. Well, well, Benjamin. Time for you to die with some dignity. So much for her giving up. Anthony's dead! The Vice King of Fruit! <laughs> That's just precious. You think I need Tony to kill you and your sidekick here? <laughs> the fuck is this sidekick shit? Throwing her out a window ain't gonna work this time. Fine by me. I always wanted to put a bullet in this bitch. Hey, just don't get any blood on you. She's got the hell. No, I don't. What the hell happened to her? Honestly, I don't care right now. As long as she ain't killing my ass over and over again. Could have been worse, Ben. You could have been married to her. So what's the situation look like out there? It's bad. Why do I have a feeling that's a big understatement? You know me too well. We have a plan? Kind of. Kind of. We're getting the band back together, and then we're gonna kill Zeniac. That's not a plan, that's a goal. What, you got a better one? Kenzie, you listening? Yeah. I want to turn this whole simulation off. You think you can do that? With my help, she can. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. That's why you saved me first. You saved Matt before me? Brilliant computer hacker, record mogul. Experience with virtual worlds, experience with street games. My experience is empire building. Empire building? I'm sorry, who became fucking president of the United States? Who's the person that the fucking president of the United States asked to run their cabinet because they were way over their head? I was not in over my head. True or false? You called me at 3 in the morning asking me to run your election because you weren't polling for shit. There's some fine points you're glossing over there, buddy. You're right. You weren't asking me. You were begging me. Are you two finished yet? Keith, have you been watching the whole time? Yeah, and I'm just throwing this out there. I think there's only a passing similarity between me and Julius. Whatever, you're like the same person. How many of you guys are listening in on us? All of us? Let's not fight in front of the kids. Do you seriously have a plan? I do. Work it out with Kinsey and Matt and fill me in when we can execute. You got it. All right, I'm killing your connection, Benjamin. We'll see you soon. Hey, King. You really hate that you ended up in second place, don't you? Yeah. You tracked down Asha yet? I have, but it wasn't easy. Her mind is so incredibly guarded, it was difficult to trace her neural signature. Huh. One man's guarded is another man's pain in the ass. I'll set everything up. See me when you're ready. I didn't know much about Asha Odakar before she helped us save the entire damn country. But in the years since, I've come to know her as one of the best soldiers I've ever met. I'm gonna take down Zinya. I want her in my crew. I just think you're really building this up. And I think you're drastically underestimating how dangerous the mind of a super spy can be. <laughs> super spy? Jesus, man, I get you on a fucker, but you don't have to build a pedestal. That is beside the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, man. I get it. This is beginning to be my personal hell, too. Kinsey? What am I wearing? You should see what your face looks like. Why? What did you do to my face? Matt told me some... Very specific concerns that she has about you. The fuck are you talking about? Where is he? Last chance. Fuck you, slut. You're like Johnny Gat with better hair. I'm nothing like Johnny Gat. Fair. Gat was never self-righteous. Don't you dare confuse duty with self-righteousness. Yeah, because those two never fucking overlap. Says the President of the United States. You say the title like it's a dirty word. It is when the role is filled by a psychopath. Fuck his role! Isis! You coming or what? 
What the fuck is going on here? Who are you looking for? Your evil twin. What? Wait a second. An evil twin? Yeah, I thought it was better than saying I've been sent to kill evil you. All right. So what tipped the scales? Best intelligence shows codename Mr. X is preparing a full assault against their own nation. I've been tasked with making sure they don't succeed. Ooh, sounds serious. Careful. If the guards see this box in the main walkway, it'll blow our cover. Let's get behind this guy. Man, fuck this. I'm totally killing this guy. You what? Shh, don't give away our position. So an evil version of me is Send your worst us. nightmare? How do you mean? Well, according to Kinsey, every person's simulation is based on their deepest, darkest fears. Okay. You fear me being in power more than anything else? The extent of your ego is certainly terrifying at times. I'm trying hard to remember why I'm rescuing you. Stay on guard. Mr. X could be hiding anywhere. Asha, I thought you knew me better than that. Why would I hide when I can kill your friends in front of you? Say hello, Matt. Asha, I... Good talk. Wow, you're cold. Johnny cried like a little bitch when his girlfriend got killed. I'm not gonna give you this satisfaction. Ooh, I love it when you talk tough. Then you're gonna fucking love me, you piece of shit. You. See you soon. Not gonna lie, still not sure how to take the fact that evil me is your version of hell. This isn't about you, believe it or not. Come on, you're fighting an evil me. That's what you're taking from this, your starring role. Well... I keep failing, over and over. I keep failing at my job. It doesn't matter if it's evil you or a 50-foot soda can. When the fate of the world rests on your shoulders, you can't afford failure. And that, that is my hell. Okay, I, I think I get it. So Killed me. Yeah, we did. You smoke? I do now. Evil me was kind of an asshole. Good you was kind of an asshole. Blame my parents. Daddy issues? Nah, just... <laughs> forget it. Oh, don't like talking about your past. Don't see the point. Who cares what I did before I joined the Saints? Aren't you going to ask me about mine? I thought we were killing evil clones, not picking out place settings. <laughs> eh, should probably get out of here. Once more for old time's sake. Eh, why not? Feels weird not being in a shitty sports bar. We could always name the ship the Broken Shillelagh. Not funny. Kenzie, relax. Do my best. Look, if you're worried about me going brain dead, I figure it's part of the deal. You have to say something. What aren't you telling me? Thanks, Matt. Kinsey? It's not you she's worried about. It's everyone else. Oh, this is gonna get real exciting. It doesn't matter. I have a feeling we're about to disagree. Saving Gat is a terrible idea. Boss, don't answer to you, honey. Bitch, you lucky we're standing in front of Keith David or Stop it! He's right, okay? It's a terrible idea. In order to save Johnny, we have to tap directly from our ship into his mind, and that means Zinyak's going to know exactly where we are. You're asking Matt and I to paint a target on humanity's last chance so that you can go rescue someone we've never even met. And what's even stupider is that we're going along with it. That guy you just beat the shit out of is risking everything to save your friend. And you want to know why? Because we can't save ours anymore. Oleg is dead. Viola is dead. Earth is dead. So how about you stop being a fucking asshole and say thank you for giving us the hope you'll never have? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you could have killed me back in Steelport, but you let me go. 
I can forgive a few punches. Okay, then. Get in the chair. Hey, boss. What do you think Axe Mind is like? No idea. If I had to bet, I'd say either a shooting gallery or a freckle bitches. Johnny Gad is the oldest friend I have and the baddest motherfucker I know. I mourned him once when I thought Philippe Loren had taken him out. Now that I know he's alive, I walk through hell to bring him back. Aisha, behind you! Johnny! Help! Ooh! You want her? Come get Stage one. Fight. Fuck, it's good to see you, man. Warren Williams? Look, Aisha, we have to get the Lightning HQ and get her back. You with me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Hold on. We're coming to get you. Whoa. We? Who's we? The tank. His journey finally over. Johnny Gat was once again able to hold Aisha in his arms. But the reunion was soon over, as the street tough remembered the tragedy that claimed his love so many years ago. Thanks for playing. Were you right? No, side scroller beat him up. Nice. I'm coming, Johnny. Kinsey, I need that robot up and running. It's really more like power armor. Not now, Keith. So where's John? Do you remember how to use this suit? Do I remember? This man. That's not really an answer. Yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out. Your reputation doesn't do you justice. Earth's most besant warrior? That's what he called me. You're telling me he abducted you years before his invasion because he thought you single-handedly could stop him? Yeah. That's so fucking awesome. You realize that means Zinyak's more afraid of him than you, right? Shit. Johnny, go back to the part about the meat shield. Guys, don't take this the wrong way. But I spent years living in the past. I'm ready for the future. Good. Because if we're going to pull off King's plan, we're going to need all the help we can get.
I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. I still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Go, whoa, whoa, guys, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zinn are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. Hey, we gotta go. There's too many of them. There's a helicopter on a nearby roof. We can use it to get everyone to safety. Let's move, people. Matt and I will head out on our own. We what? Take care of your people. We'll catch up. Cool. Before we do anything, we need some breathing room. Let's take out those tanks. Inside, now! Spaceship, overhead! Everyone okay? We walked away, right? Oh, look, a cat. Is this a pet store? Yeah. Pet store. Super ethical reality climax. Who names this shit? Where to now? Doesn't matter. The Zin just found us. We need to find a way out. On it. Hey, Claire. Here's an iron pulling out of the simulation. Meet you back on the ship. Mackenzie, well, what's that static? I heard it earlier. I don't know. You alien fuck! No! Boss, you need to get back to the ship. Now! Shondi, what the fuck are you doing? They got Kinsey. Boss, the dinner here. What? We were set up. I got out of the simulation. Pierce and King were out cold. The proximity alarm is screaming, and Asha Miller and the vice president are gone. They kidnapped Keith David? And left us sleeping so we can't pick up by Zinya. Too bad for them, we're awake. What's the plan? Secure the doors. I'm gonna check on Kinsey. We're gonna get you back, Kinsey. Promise. You ready? Because we got visitors. Ain't no one can top me. Let's clear out the lower decks. We have to hold the room. Fuck that. I'm not waiting for them to come to me. around to get in here. That wasn't a bad fuck you to Zinyak. Let's get out of here and find Kinsey. God damn it! What happened? MI6 fucked us. I knew it! Asha had it out for me since jump. She talked shit in Pakistan. She sucked a punch in the Can't head. believe Miller had me fooled. To think I actually apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. Do you are cordially invited to the swearing-in of Super President for Life, Keith David, today at the Federal Building. Attendance is mandatory. Have a nice day. Ass!
My fellow Americans, I know firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Keith. And I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look where that led us. So what, you're putting your faith in Zinniac? Giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You don't get it. Zinniac said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is kill you. He's lying to you. Maybe, but there's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right. a deal, my friend. Now what am I supposed to do with a naughty little boy like you? Ah. Enjoy your requiem, Mr. Tate. <laughs> uh, this doesn't look good. Miller, you still with me? Are you there, Matt? Fucking perfect. Snap out of it! Snap out of it! Ah. Look, you crazy mother! Hey! Stay away from me! Keith, you know better! I'm telling you, you dumb son of a bitch! I'm trying to save your life! You couldn't even save your own! Keith! Listen to me! I'm giving you a choice! Get away from me! Let him go! They have him bad. Hey, I'm Roddy. Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. Sure. Why not? Well, Prez, we got visitors. What you expect is gonna happen? Ladies and gentlemen of America, the threat is right in front of us. An alien presence has taken over your friends and family. I'm not the enemy, Keith. Zinyak is. Keith, listen to me. The Zinyak guy is bad fucking news. You! I told you to get away! Get the fuck away from me! You're not gonna kill me, motherfuckers! Shit! After him! That's right! Soon! The whole world will know the truth! The satellite's what's controlling, Keith. You take care of it, I'll handle it. Oh, yeah! I'll take out the CIDs. The what? Uh, don't worry about it. The satellite's down. Did it work? No, the brainwashing is too ingrained. I'll have to beat it out of If you want to know where your friend is, now's the time to ask. Where's Kinsey, Keith? Where did Zinyak put Kinsey?
Tell me, Keith. She's... She's... She's in... Keith, I think you have some unresolved issues. You don't know what happened, kid. Now come on, we've got to save Kinsey. Wish we could call Roddy for help. No one calls Roddy for help. He shows up where he's needed most. Let's go. The information I got from Keith was a code of some kind. Apparently, he overheard Zinyak telling one of his subordinates a series of numbers somehow connected to Kinsey's location. Uh, I bet these digits line up with some proprietary coordination system used by the simulation, but I don't have access to that. We'd need someone who's able to plug directly into the simulation. Send the stuff she compiled to Sid. We're on it. Data received. Hmm. Very interesting. It seems... Yeah! Damn, Sid, you gonna be okay? I don't know. I... 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 Oh, here I go! Okay, I'll just follow Sid now. I'm going to hack the code to find out where Sid is going. Don't even think about it. Huh. A rabbit. A creepy, creepy rabbit. If I had to guess, it looks like this sigil is connected to some sort of secret room. A secret room? Figures. How pissed will she be if I found her diary in there? Are you sure this is the right place? Absolutely. What the fuck is all this? A map of the simulation. Where are all the broken shillelaghs? If it would make the map more understandable to you, I could create a hologram. God, no, we're good. So can you find Kinsey? In theory, yes. The time-consuming part will be identifying Kinsey's brainwaves in a sea of other data. Find whatever looks the most abnormal is probably her. Insulting, yet accurate. Good luck. Oh, man. This place? Ah, oh, fuck me. Yeah, Kinsey, come on, we gotta bounce. If you want to speak with my husband, he'll be home this afternoon. Kinsey? Say, I'm afraid I don't have much of a green thumb. Oh, can you help me get this bulb to sit right? Bulb! F*** the bulb! What? What are you doing? Hurry! I'm being held captive by- Kinsey! What happened to her? Ooh, that must have been a decoy. That's smart. See if there are any more around. So much. Hey, I see another Kinsey. Uh, wait. Oh, fuck. What's going on? If you the five will have Kinsey. This is what I do! Yeah! Nothing like a little f***ing adrenaline! I really hope this is the real you. Golly! That bump sure was a doozy, wasn't it? Get to City Hall! Hurry! Ah, oh, there she goes again. Do you remember Cyrus Temple? The paramilitary thug who tried to save America by destroying it with a big-ass nuclear missile? Yeah, we crossed paths. He's... in charge here. No, 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 uh-uh. Didn't I kill him with chemicals? Not in Kinsey's mind, no. The Sam Hill? I thought this was a party! Let's dance! Since now, you hoodlum.
You wanna dance? Dance with me. Hey, I've got a new track for you to try. Well, run that sh I'm uploading it now. Give it a shot. Ah! DJ Matt Miller. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you see what I just did right there? Kenzie, let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, you swore! Hey. You don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand me? Kenzie, it really wasn't all that... I said anyone. Hey, you got it. Just saying, it's a cute poodle skirt. find the time to work that out. Just before I was kidnapped. Probably why Zinyak went after me, actually. So what's the plan? If I can hack directly into the main system, then I can bring down the walls between simulations and force Zinyak to divert an enormous amount of resources to keeping it from crashing altogether. We do want it to crash, though, don't we? Oh, it will. He won't be able to stop it. But for now, what I need from you is parts. For a key. What, like one of those machines that grinds keys? The main parts we'll need to assemble the key are the central processing unit, memory modules, and gravity inhibitors. I've located a CPU at the old Steelport Guard Armory. While you get that, I'll look around for the other stuff. Boss? Johnny? You there? We're still kicking. I'm only a few seconds out. Don't worry, I am not letting anything happen to Johnny. Uh, to you two. Eh. Okay. Once Shandy gets there, make sure the area is clear so she can land. On it. Area's all clear. Alright, land in this thing. Time to go. Is the key ready? Nearly both. So without power, it's really just a glorified paperweight. What are you waiting for? Plug it in. If it was that simple, don't you think I would have done that? The fuck if I know. You're always doing crazy shit. We need compatible power sources to make it work. And sending sit in there to help you with that. Try to be nice to him. I have found a compatible power source for the key. Predictably, it is controlled by the Zin. Interference from these cells make it impossible for me to pinpoint the exact locations, but I should be able to determine the general areas of the three we need. Where to sit? I have marked the general location for the first power cell, though I am surprised Kinsey also sent along fake Shondi to help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fake Shondi? Kinsey explained to me that Shondi had a doppelganger who hated pants and was very friendly. Yeah, that's me. But fake? I'm standing right here. Do not shoot the messenger. Frankly, you sound more fun than the other Shondi. And I love your hair. 
Oh, thanks. I know over the years you've heard this speech a bunch of times. Heard it? Bitch, I wrote it. <laughs> but we need to remember why we do what we do. And today the stakes are even higher. Earth is gone. It's not coming back, and nothing we do today is going to change that. But one thing we can do is get revenge. And you better believe we're showing this motherfucker humanity isn't dead because we're still alive. This isn't about hope or faith or even about winning. Kinsey's right. Those things died on Earth. This is about will. This is about saying, I don't give a shit how many times you knock me down. If I'm still breathing, I'm standing right back up. And you know what? You can hit as hard as you want, because when I hit back, I'm going to lay your ass out, bitch. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Here's the deal. You're going to need three teams to help you defeat Zinyak. The first team will help you get the key into the mainframe. The second will help you overload the simulation. The final team will get you into the Zin mothership so you can get to Zinyak. All right, sounds good. All right, figure out who you want to help with the key, and we can get you all loaded into the simulation. All right, player, this is it. We're taking the key to the old Syndicate Tower. There's an entrance into the system in the loading dock. Gat and I will drive the key there while you get our backs. Once inside, get the key into the main hub. That should cause a chain reaction that destabilizes the simulation. The key's loaded up. Climb on and make sure it doesn't get destroyed. Relax, Kinsey. I've done this before. Only if this fails, we could all die. Loosen up, Kinsey. I got this. I'm serious. If we screw this up, we won't get another shot at bringing down the simulation, we won't create an opening into the Zen Mothership, and we won't be able to locate and go after Zinyak himself. I got this, Kinsey. You focus on the rest of the plan. As long as the key doesn't get destroyed, like I said. For fuck's sake, Kinsey. I said I got this. Once more, with feelings. Just a little farther to the tower. Oh, I'm sorry, but this highway wasn't clear for heavy loads. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Yo, what the hell? What the hell? Shit, what do we do now? You're going to have to use your telekinesis to get the key there. Don't worry, we're with you. You just get the key in there, boss. We'll handle these assholes. Once you get inside, I'll know what to do. You got it, Kinsey. Sid, let's move. To watch this simulation destroy, we'll harness the system's they... energy to fuel the power cells on the key. Don't let me stop you. Is this gonna take much longer, Sid? The energy flow is being regulated. Opening breakers should increase the power. Yeah, of course it would. Remember, Steelport's breaking down inside the simulation right now. Whoever you take with, I should be able to open portals into their personal nightmares. But don't worry, whatever comes through will be on your side. What happens when this whole place goes down? Not sure. The data may get corrupted or it may simply reset. Either way, it should overload some of the Zin ship systems directly. So we could be doing all of this for nothing. Well, it's certainly going to mess with the Zin enough to give us our shot at taking out Zinyak. Of that, I'm 99% positive. That still leaves 1%. Just covering my bases in case something goes wrong. Kinsey didn't say anything about shit exploding. I knew she was holding out on Did it work? We bought ourselves a window, but you gotta move fast. What's the plan? We're gonna kill a lot of aliens. I like it. To get to Zinyak's throne room, you'll need a spacesuit and some weapons for destroying the ship's outer defenses. The schematics show an armory not too far in. Hide to there and see what you can find. All right, people, let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a robot, isn't it? It's power armor. No way. Oh, hell yeah. This is what I'm talking about. I've got you! You got the touch! You got the power! Let's finish this. Okay, now all you need to do is make it through the ship's infrastructure, take out all its defenses, and thereby clear a path for us to get to Zinyak. No problem. You got the crew? Yep, everyone's on board. We'll be right behind you as you clear a path. We're almost to you. No, 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 hold off. The way through is closing. Damn, they activated the blast field. You'll have to land and find a way to override it. With what? You have power armor, so you've got to have some weapons and powers built in. Use them. 
so much time training with superpowers in the simulation. Uh, I, don't, I don't see a control panel. Try to find the power conduits and use your suit to overload them. You got the moonshine in the ground. And you never did it when your back's to the wall. Gonna fight to the All right, I think that did it. Yep, you should be clear against the throne room now. We'll keep following and meet you there. You could come for me, but you don't stand a chance. One shall stand, one shall fall. Why throw away your life so recklessly, Saint? Quite the entrance. I figured you had a flair for the dramatic. Oh, you know me so well. I'm really gonna miss these bonding sessions when I kill you. <laughs> Look at you. Mercutio to my Tybalt. Don't be too excited. Tybalt dies in the end. I'm surprised you knew that. I didn't. Kinsey told me over the radio. Uh, well, at least you're honest. Always. That way you know I'm not lying when I say I'm gonna rip your goddamn head off. You're adorable. Zinjai? Yes, Your Excellency. Is the Empire watching? Of course, Your Excellency. Finally ready to end this? Let's go. Once I kill you, my whole empire will see the futility of humanity's last stand. They never had a choice who to serve. Not till now. Oh, please. I have conquered countless worlds. Only your pride makes you think the saints could defeat me. Zinyak, this isn't pride. This is wrath. Coming for you. This changes nothing. Wrong. I'm about to change everything. These are your last moments, Zinyak. <laughs> the legacy of the Zin Empire will continue to live on. My death. Just die so I can bring some fucking democracy. Anyone else? Take over a new home world. And so the Saint's Empire was born. This is how we do well.
Come 